Investing in uh, early stage startups is obviously risky, uh, and that's why it's so hard for um, early stage startup founders to raise money. There is a lot of uncertainty around their business model, product market fit, their ability to execute. And investors, of course, are wary uh, in terms of investing into first-time entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs that haven't really built companies from scratch. So what can you do to make this process easier for you and to de-risk your company even at an early stage? This is what we're talking about in this video. And my name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station, a comprehensive educational resource for early stage startup founders. Number one, product market fit. Now, of course, this is a very big problem for um, pre-revenue companies because it's very difficult to ask, evaluate demand before you have a product on the market before you have really tested with uh, marketing strategy what people really think about um, buying your product. So what can you do before you spend the marketing money? What can you do before you even have a product? There are two things. If you already have a product, you um, can test it on real users, even for free. Okay, this is what we call beta testing or alpha testing if it's an earlier stage product. And so you let you contact your ideal customers and you let them try your product for free. Okay, so don't worry about that you're not making any money of them. Your idea here is not to make money. Your idea here is to get their feedback on what they think about the product and to learn what they like and what they dislike and to improve. Maybe there's something else that they want that is very easy for you to implement and that's gonna help you to position your product against the competition. If you don't yet have a product on the market, what you can do is to engage in a customer discovery process where you put together service, so you run focus groups and you learn from prospective customers what they think about the product you're going to create. And the more thought you put into what uh, information you present to them, the more value you're going to get out of those surveys and out of those meetings. Number two, team. Right? The execution risk is the biggest risk that uh, all early stage ventures have because you're building a company from scratch. You may not have all the experience you need to build that company and also because the needs of your company are changing so quickly when it's going for rapid growth. So it's very important to put a good core team together, core executive team, and is to surround yourself with a great support system, which is the board of advisors or the board of directors. They're going to give you the necessary expertise and going to make the necessary introductions to supplement your team with the right people at the right time. And number three, I go to market strategy. A lot of startups do not get funded precisely for that reason, that they don't have a clear path to market. And if you don't, then who's going to invest in you because it's not clear how you're going to execute. And this is a very resolvable problem that you can formulate your go-to-market strategy when you're writing your business plan. You can further refine it when you translate it into a financial plan and you figure out which KPIs you can use to measure the effectiveness of your go-to-market strategy. And when you put all of these three things together, you help address three major concerns that investors have when investing in early stage ventures. And that makes you into a more attractive investment. It makes your fundraising process more seamless, but also it helps you create a better company from the start. To learn more about how to model different business models and how to formulate assumptions for different go-to-market strategies, you can take our course number two. And to learn more about different resources available to early stage startup founders, go to www.thestartupstation.com. Thank you for watching.